What if the internet suddenly stopped working? Hi there. It's hard to imagine life without the internet, right? The net gives us access to a massive amount of information and simplifies our daily life in so many aspects. Did you know the internet is 102,593 gigabytes of internet traffic per second? If it does not speak too much and well it's literally the equivalent of 21,828 DVD of 4. 7 gigabytes every second. In another aspect, every second that goes by on the internet it represents 9,180 tweets, 1,024 Instagram photos uploaded, 86,583 Google searches, 86,354 YouTube videos viewed, or 2,959,067 emails sent according to Internet Live Stats. Yet, the disappearance of the internet is a very real prospect. University of Aston, Andrew Ellis and his team have been working on the disappearance of the internet. They think it would be a serious issue that will have to be tackled in a few years if nothing is done to solve it now and the phenomenon has a name, the capacity crunch. The researcher's assertion is the following in a somewhat simplified version, we have reached a maximum volume of data with our optical fibers and which itself is a very voracious energy system. The amount of data is constantly increasing because we have more and more documents, photos and videos to upload. The only way to continue this ever-increasing flow would be to double or even triple the world's optical networking capacity. However, this would simply represent an electricity consumption superior to what humanity is capable of producing nowadays. If the disappearance of the internet was a very real prospect, if we were to get rid of all the habits that the web gave us, well that's what we're going to see in this video. For instance, little anecdote, while working on this project, my internet internet connection went down. I called my internet provider to inquire about the matter. They told me to hang on until the next day as they needed to find out what went wrong. I almost went crazy because early in the morning my kids were supposed to be online for their e-learning because of COVID-19 pandemic. Coincidence. I don't know. In any case it is with a good dose of assumptions and extrapolations that we explore the ability to live without the internet. This morning when you wake up your smartphone did not beep once. You haven't had any notifications from Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram etc. When you're trying to get to your social media, it doesn't work. Weird you say that your router might have crashed or need to be reset or troubleshoot then you try 4G on your phone but it still does not work. A phone call then to your phone operator tells you that the lines are saturated and many customers are complaining since they no longer have internet connection for a few hours. It's scandalous. At last, not the least you turn on the TV and you're amazed by the breaking news on your screen, the internet is death. Data centers around the world began to overheat and at the same time and burned out the fiber optic lines through which they were connected. And so, in just a few hours, we can already feel the turmoil of its disappearance all over the world and the first victim are the stock market and the banking system. For instance, Google and Facebook shares are falling at a speed we have never seen before. Wall Street and the city are panicking. It's good to know that the vast majority of the money in circulation or to be more accurate 90% is totally virtual. And without the internet, we can't have access to it therefore it will disappear. Cryptocurrencies will vanish and all the online accounts will also disappear. It will be a financial deluge, an economic Armageddon. Streaming boxes will also become obsolete. On the flip side on this we must keep in mind that American Express bank cards that appeared in 1958 according to Credit Karma. And so if the internet disappears we can still use money through the credit or debit card system. The primary objective of banks at this time will be to keep the data locally on their hard drive since computers won't be worldwide connected anymore. Without the internet it will be a gain of 6 hours and 42 minutes every day which is the average time spent by an American on the web according to the latest digital 2019 report from Hootsuite and We Are Social. So what do you do? Redbox. Maybe you go to the nearest movie theater, but the long line may discourage you from going to that movie premiere that you were waiting for. Why not then the theatre, a bowling etc. I guess libraries would open 24-7 to soup people desire to get hard copies oh, of hey, books. Come on in. Do you realize that? 
Nowadays with the internet at our fingertips we have neglected many healthy habits such as reading a book, a newspaper or even writing, on a paper. Presumably, people would come back to that if the internet comes to disappear one day. People's major concerns will not be to live without the internet but to find a palliative, an alternative, something that could replace it. As the creator of the internet the United States has always been at forefront of technology since the last century. If internet goes down, we already have an alternative in the contrary of other nations and the trick is called mesh internet. A more liberal, stable and affordable network where the middleman I mean your internet provider will be eliminated. All you need is the radio frequency of your phone's Bluetooth connection, and you can send and receive data over a mesh network from anyone in relatively proximity. Beside this innovation, the barely used telephone network may well be back in service. One could imagine some kind of passionate clubs that videos would gather in bars or cafes to discuss their musical styles or their video game and movies etc. The positive side is that even without the internet, you will still have all your smartphones functionalities, that is, sending SMS as well as calling. So the communication will not be fully returned to the Stone Age. With the disappearance of the internet there is indeed a sector that could do well and that is the ecology as we witnessing more and more the effect of global warming today. People don't emphasize a lot on that but with the internet we increase the production of greenhouse gas as data center consume a lot of energy. On average, servers and cooling systems account for the greatest shares of direct electricity use in data centers, followed by storage drives and network devices. Some of the world's largest data centers can each contain many tens of thousands of IT devices and require more than 100 megawatts of power capacity, enough to power around 80,000 US households according the US Department of Energy energy. And so their disappearance will produce an energy conservation. And after a few months without the internet some alternative firm networks connecting the computers to each other will probably be created to replace the internet. The post office will not run out of fund and bail out by the government anymore because people will fall back to conventional mail instead of emails. Keep in mind the internet represents 192,572,000,000 emails sent daily in average according to internet live stats. And so the good old mail should come back in force. Although probably less than before since we will always have SMS and therefore faxes, some moribund companies should resume service. In the US, 6 million jobs or the equivalent of 4% of the US employment are directly related to the internet sector. Another 13. 1 million jobs are indirectly related to the internet in the US job market. So, the disappearance of the internet would lead to a huge wave of unemployed people. But fortunately other sectors should recruit in turn, especially the fact that they have to seriously consolidate the telephone network on which all communications now rest. Over time, words like, hashtag, tweet, then disappear little by little from our vocabulary almost as fast as they appeared. But beware, this does not mean that all companies should go bankrupt. For example, Google, with $162 billion revenue just for 2019 according to Ruth Parath the chief financial officer should remain viable and redeploy in other technological sectors. Facebook which depends entirely on the internet will certainly find another occupation for its 50 2,534 employees. What about you? You may be like many people. You will get into the habit of going to a friend's house every weekend to see the latest videos of your favorite ex-YouTuber. Even though there is no more YouTube all, ex-YouTuber will be using conventional commercial venues to publish their creativity through Redbox or new forms such as USB drive, portable drive and others. Speaking of YouTube precisely we could assume that conventions, salons and all kind of thing could grow since precisely it would probably be one of the last bastions that would allow a YouTuber to keep a bond with his community and therefore paradoxically the virtual link that we would lose could strengthen the real connection that we could find perhaps a little more before. But after a few years without the internet, where will we be? Will we be able to resume with 20 the century habits or unable to live without the net will? And you in all this, are you among the 73% the US population who claim not to be able to live without the internet according to Ipsos polls published on Forbes magazine? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more upcoming videos.